Hey, what's up, man? It's our white dude ski, uh, aka GFX support. Uh, today, we're gonna learn to take just normal photo and turn it into like a, a super hot photo. Like it looks like it's burning or it's very, uh, pretty much looks like it's a photo that you wish you never took because it looks like shit. But this is actually a pretty cool effect that you can work with here with other photos, especially uh, with backgrounds and all that stuff. Uh, if you look at my other tutorial, there's also the chilling tutorial, so it'd be kind of cool if you fuse those into a background. You can have one character blue and one character red. Uh, so pretty much you want to start off with your image. Um, I got my images here, so I'm just going to delete all this stuff. Start from fresh. There's my image, the original, and uh, I'm going to use this image. I'm going to duplicate though because I like keeping the image on the background. I just won't see it. So first you want to start off by changing the color. And you press Control U. Uh, pull up the hue slash saturation and you go to colorize click the little box there and drag it over anywhere like 200 plus and then around in the 30 range and then like anything under five right there looks good so pretty much you got it like that and now you want to go to filter blur then gaussian blur and 2.8 is good that's what we used on the last one but we'll go with 2.9 now so see what happens with that um now we want to duplicate the layer again and we want to go to filter, blur, and motion blur. And 64 is good, but I'm going to go a little bit lower this time. I'm going to go on like 57. And now we want to change the blending mode to overlay. And this is pretty much the same steps that I used in the chilling photo. So now we got like that. Now we want to merge the two layers together. So if you select the top layer and just press Control E, It'll merge it to the layer below it. So now we got that, which is pretty decent as it is right there. And then now we want to go up here, make a new layer, and fill it in with white. And we want to go to overlay. As you see, it is bright right now. We can change around with opacity later on, but we're going to leave it bright. We want to make another new layer and we want to make it a blue. This is the blue I used. You can use any type of blue. I'll actually go change the blue up here. We'll go with that blue and we'll paint over. As you see, she's gone, but it's not the end of the world. She'll be back. Go to filter, render. You can go with clouds, um, difference clouds. You don't want to use those yet. Uh, just go to filter, render, clouds. And we want to set that to overlay as well. And then we want to make another new layer and we're going to fill this one in with white and we're going to set this one to difference and as you see instantly right there it's already starting to turn it into a fiery image we can change around the opacity we don't want to play with that opacity actually we want to actually start off by duplicating this layer again and we drag it up just below the cloud layer and as you see it is looking pretty sweet right there you can also turn off the cloud to see what it looks like without the clouds there and we want to change around this blending mode. We can change it to uh, darken or even color burn. No, multiply. Let me put it above this layer. But yeah, as you see right there, it honestly doesn't look that bad. Um, you can play around the settings a little more, adjust the colors, make it darker. Uh, you can also merge all the layers and then duplicate the layer again go to multiply or something like that and bust up the saturation if you want but yeah that's pretty much it 